If you've got a 2015 to 18 JK Wrangler and want to unlock its full potential, today we're going to show you how to do just that with the Superchips Trail Dash 2. This Superchips Trail Dash 2 allows you to view any parameter you could think of on your Jeep Wrangler. It's going to allow you to change the tire size, engage your lockers, view a rear view camera or front facing camera, and really allow you to just open up the accessibility of your Jeep Wrangler. It's going to show you any gauge you'd like. You can customize the screen, change the background color, the background image. Basically, this is a touchscreen multimedia device that allows you to interface with your Jeep Wrangler. And we're going to install it on our 2015 two-door Rubicon, show you guys what it does, how you can change some of the parameters. So let's get started. I'm super excited for this. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is plug the OBD2 connector into the factory OBD2 port. This is on the left side, right below this speaker grill. We're just going to plug this in and run the wire right up behind the back of our trail dash screen. Make sure you plug it in there firmly. All right guys, so what I've decided to do is pull the side of our dash off. This can be done with a small plastic pry bar just to pop it right off. There's only clips. And then I'm gonna run the cable right behind there and plug it into the back of the Super Chips trail dash. That'll give it a nice clean look. And we're planning on keeping this on here. So giving it a nice clean look and making it all tucked away is gonna be really nice for us. I'm gonna get that done and we're gonna power this up, show you some of the features. Okay guys, so right here is gonna be basically your main screen. There's RPM, battery voltage, couple temperatures on the side, the engine temperature in here, miles per gallon, miles per hour, and then if you pull down, it actually shows you notifications. So if you've got a check engine light, anything like that, it'll pop up right here. You can stroll through it and address it. If you pull up from the bottom, there's a, guys, there's a ton of features in here. Performance settings, layout, records, data log, performance testing, mileage coach, maintenance manager, so you can put in service dates and when you've changed the oil. There's help and settings, diagnostics, so you can actually check engine codes and everything in here. So let's check the trouble codes. Can't touch it. Doom, no, 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 no. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, guys, we got no trouble codes, so we're going to go back. Scroll out of that. Okay, now from this screen, I'm going to go see what happens when we go to the left. Now, to do that, you just swipe it. And now, here, it's another crazy function. I mean, this actually has an optional rocker switch attachment where you can turn these on right from the screen. So that's what these four down here, horn chirp, lamp flash, fog lamps. So actually you can change, like if you want the horn to chirp when you lock the door, you go in here, it says this feature allows you to disable or enable the horn chirp that occurs when the vehicle is locked. Touch screen to continue. Vehicle settings have been successfully changed. So now it's gonna update. Now the horn chirp is off. So I turned that off. Let's turn it back on because I think the customer probably wants it on. And now to change it, you just basically click it and then tap it twice and it turns back to on. So we've got tire size, axle ratio. You can actually change the engine idle. Now you might be wondering why you change that. If you're outside winching or running a lot of lights or an air compressor, you can bump your engine idle up to about 1200 RPM, keeps your alternator running faster, more battery power. So that's a pretty cool feature. Running lights you can turn on if you're like a Euro spec or in Canada. Tire pressure, you can set that to what you want your tire pressure to display. So, or to turn your TPMS lights off. So if I click on that, touch the screen. It's required, it is required that your tires are inflated. So good news, um, in order to drive, you gotta have your tires inflated, so. You know, I think we do have them inflated. They are inflated, today, so yeah, today inflated. they are. Okay, well, so. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll click yes because our tires are inflated. TPMS low threshold, we can actually adjust. All right, guys, the lowest you can go is 29 on that. And then it'll just pop up when you go below that. So we're going to enter with that. Update the gauges. Change the axle ratio, engine idle, tire size, all that. Here's another cool one. So if you've got a Rubicon, you can actually lock the front and rear lockers turn the TPMS off, as well as disable your sway bar right here from the trail dash. It also has a pitch and roll, so let's shake the Jeep, see if it changes. Yeah, you can see it's changing. And you could probably zero that in too, so. Oh, you can change the color? All right, so let's do a, how about orange? I like orange. I like orange too. Good choice. Now look, changes to orange. So let's change this color, what do you say? What, what color are that? I don't know, orange look pretty good. Let's change it to, okay. 
purple. My favorite color. Now look at that, orange and purple, you can customize this to your favorite sports team or whatever else you're into. I mean, whatever your favorite colors are, you can change that up. I can lock the front and rear diff right from this screen. So also gives you miles per gallon, RPM, miles per hour. Now, if you go to the settings, you can change all this up. We don't have time in this video to go through this because I'd probably be at a two hour YouTube video just to show all the changes that you can make. Let's go to the next page. That's back to the switches. And there's back to our home screen. And that's it. So let's click on that and see what we can do. Okay. So we can actually select a new parameter to monitor. So let's do, uh, you know, I'm always worried about my barometric pressure. So I'm gonna make that my parameter. And then we're gonna exit the menu. So there, barometric PSI 14.5. It's pretty good, it's a little bit low compared to what it should be, but that's an all right barometric pressure. Sounds good to me, boss. So overall guys, this Super Chips Trail Dash, it's a great piece to have in your Jeep. I am just overall amazed by how much you can really go into the, you can even, heck, you can even change the layout of the screen. So layout number two, off-road. Yeah, look, needles, accelerometer, off-road. So watch, let's check this out. I've actually changed this to the needle gauge on the home screen. This allows me to see everything in a nice gauge, just like it would be on the Jeep Dash. You can actually go into each one and change the parameter too. So if I don't want barometric pressure, I can change it to corrected speed. Exit. And then it's corrected right there, miles per hour corrected. You can actually go into them and change your alert settings too. So you can have sound on, a set point, anything like that on there. But overall guys, this thing is just extremely customizable. One of the coolest things is actually comes with a long manual on there with a lot of nice graphic images on there that you can see how to change everything, change colors, change menus, just get everything the way you want it. So this thing is completely user customizable for your Jeep and your needs, which I love and I'd highly recommend checking one of these out. That's the Super Chips Trail Dash 2 install into our 2015 Rubicon. This thing is absolutely awesome. The install is super simple. All you've got to do is plug it into your OBD2 port and then fish it up through the side here to get it nice and plugged in the right way. You can set it up top or down below. We've got it in this location. It works really well for us. I can't wait to use this out on the trail. It's got a lot of parameters on here that I can't see on my dash. So this is really going to give me a more informative way to look into what's going on inside my engine bay and also what's going on around my Jeep. Now you can find this Super Chips Trail Dash 2 as well as many other great tuners right here at cjponyparts.com. Hope you enjoyed that video. To stay up to date on our CJ Off-Road videos, make sure to subscribe up top here. And for any other installs, make sure to click the link right above.